I guess this will just have to do. Mr. T, what up, dude? You're just in time. You're just in time for the Rivals Direct 3. I know you don't even really play, but you gotta be hyped for it, right? You gotta be hyped for it! <laughs> uh oh shit. Hey Dan. Hey Adam. Thanks for joining me. Before we start, I just wanted to say that I've been super excited to do another direct. I've been looking forward to this like for literally the whole year, and I just wanted to thank you for giving me the opportunity. There's not gonna to be it. another direct this year. What? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. You know, just with COVID and the world and everything going on. There's just nothing I want to announce. You feel me? No more oh, rivals. Yeah, no biggie. No more rivals. I've got so much on my plate anyway. I've been working on all. I've I got a lot of. Nice. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> anyway, I got a lot of important work to do. So see ya. Wait, can you at least tell me about the 3D models? I've been dying to know. Doodle, what up? Because <laughs> Adam learned how to code because of Dynock. He's typing emojis. Oh my god. Zoology, applied astrology, something else ending in ology, and well, taxidermy. Grill. Hmm. Must be an elective. <clears throat> you lay unconscious on the ground for some time. A number of other students casually walk over your body. <laughs> Looks like someone's had a bit more schooling than they can handle. Yo, right on. A statement on the futility and corruption of the educational establishment. Yo, it's fleet. <laughs> Is what I would say if I didn't have this handy shell. You finally awaken, albeit with a few dirty footprint or paw prints scuffing your favorite shirt. Uh, uh huh? What? Who, who said that? Suddenly, <laughs> Adams and lovers. No, I, I already heard you. What? <laughs> Oh, Claire. Hinges on your response, anticipating whatever you're about to do next. Tread carefully, for this choice could affect the rest of your life. Screaming terror, lie. Oh, wait. Aw, oh, dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we get to vote. Don't lie to Claren. Don't ever lie to Claren, dude. She'll beat the shit out of you. Okay, this is amazing. Adam X Claren now? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stand to you, bro. Let's go. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm eating a chicken sandwich. <gasps> what are you? Oh my god! What happened to me? Look at me! I'm I'm a Whoa, hey, hey, relax. I know exactly how you feel. I'm in the same boat as you. Here's a copy you... barrel. What? Yeah, it's my first day at college, too. Well, at a four-year university, anyway. I transferred from... <laughs> well, that school doesn't actually exist yet. It's kind of a long story. But I guess I'll just tell it to you right now. In the not-too-distant future... You find yourself zoning in and out of Claren's boring What up, story. Artemis? No, I'm trying to pay no. attention. In prison. Can you believe that? Appeal to her enthusiasm, relate to her anger, just be vague. Shit. Relate to her anger. 
impress her. We want Claren. We want Claren, lovers. <laughs> Jesus. Interest in what she's saying again. But it, it was just getting good. You can't tell me what I think. But suddenly, you notice the manila folder she's holding. Oh, wow, that folder of yours is so cool. Really, Riley? Uh, this whole thing? It's just got my uh, study materials in it. And what are you studying exactly? 3D oh, Rivals? Disappearing history, epistemology, Sylvan expressionism, Hyperborean philosophy, and math, too. You know, general ed. Why does that folder say 3D Rivals? Um... Uh, Dan? Oh, but you look at the time. That's my alarm. Gotta go to class. Bye! Wait! I don't say we grab the folder. We gotta be sneaky here, boys. We gotta go with two. We gotta go with two. We can't just grab the folder. She's gonna beat the shit out of us. She's gonna beat our ass. <laughs> she had a laser sword, remember? Yeah, we're skipping all of this. I'm gonna get the reveal right now. Give it to me. While you certainly give it your all, Clara quite easily outspaces your approaches. It feels like her reach is twice as long as yours, and with every hit, it feels like the stun is way too long. Is this even fair? She punishes your whiffs, grabs you, and throws you back to the ground. Yes. You make a mental note to complain about this on Twitter later. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. I, I yield. No need to apologize. I get it. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I'm super passionate about school, too. College is just so daunting at times, and it feels like you have to succeed no matter what. Even if you have to play dirty and travel to a forbidden time because the fate of not just those you love, but of the whole world are at stake. <laughs> You know what I mean? What? You know, since we both share a passion for school, do you want to help me study later today? I'm done with my classes at five, so we can meet up after. Really? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Bring your notes. Like that 3D Rivals one, as a random example. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It would be great to have help in all my classes, though. Yeah, whatever. See you at five. Uh -huh. All right. I'll ask around, get some info on these stupid classes, and then at the end of the day, I'll use my charms, get that folder, and leave this horrible nightmare world. Adam yeah. Kara, the capybara. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this guy. Oh, there, compadre. Don't you take one more step before checking out the new hotness. Your boy Rasta's gonna hook you up, okay? First one's on me. What? Boom. Take this. Is this a comic book? Oh! We get the comics, boys! What the hell? Clayin? Oh shit! I don't know how many times you can remix the Rivals music, but good god, it's all so damn good, dude. We get Clarence's backstory? Hell yeah. LORE! Holy cow! Who? This comic's actually really sick. I guess you're not as bad as I thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're coming on a little strong there. Rast is in a committed relationship these days. That's oh. not at all, but I... Oh my god. This is great, dude. Oh! Okay. Where do I start? Hmm. Where do we go, guys? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with one. We need to find the. We need to find the fine arts of the school. Let's go in order. They're not gonna go in order. <laughs> Everybody gets to vote. 
Slovan expression of theory and history. This is so well thought out, I swear to god, dude. You hear your footsteps echo as you enter the theater. Oh, we're in the theater. And in awe of the large room, the door slips out of your fingers and slams shut. Everyone in the theater looks in your direction. But luckily, class isn't in session right now. You see a few students practicing monologues, and others doing what you hope is just, um, <clears throat> interpretive dance. Oh. One of the students walks up to you, a hefty script in his hand. Hey, are you new to the film program too? I've got this role in a short film. It's like this super deep and complicated character, and I don't really know what direction... Stefan is Greg! the script and give me some feedback? It's only 85 pages. It won't take long, I promise. <sighs> All right. Craig hands you his script. You rifle through the pages and notice that none of the characters' names are highlighted. Who were you playing? Oh, I don't have any lines. What do you mean you don't have any lines? My character is more of what you would call a background element. You're playing a rock, aren't you? Well, yeah, of course. What were you expecting me to play? A tree? That's ridiculous! <laughs> Show me what you got. <laughs> Show us, Stefan. Stefan is Crag. It's official in the Rivals lore. Stefan is Crag. Let's go, dude. All right, why don't you show me what you got so far? Oh, gee, thanks. Well, here goes nothing. Look at all these rocks, dude. They're all so convincing and great. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? Incredible. You really think so? It was like you completely transformed beyond recognition. Wow, thanks. Which one was your favorite? A classy man would say three. But a man that loves the world would say... What? Yeah, we didn't even get to choose. I think that one had the most feeling behind it for sure. Hey, by the way, since you seem to really understand the craft of filmmaking so well, uh, do you happen to know anything about the Sylvan Expressionist movement? I love that era. You should check out my favorite film from that movement, The Cabinet of Dr. Calamari. Oh, cool. I'll keep that in mind. That reminds me. There's this awesome sneak preview of something you should see. Craig takes out a small device. It's a remote control. He points it to the back of the room, and the lights turn down. What is this? OG Rivals? <clears throat> Did we get a Rivals movie? Of where we came from? How we all started? I worked at Microsoft for almost three years. Saved up enough money and then I decided to take the plunge and go indie. The Rivals documentary. I remember that tournament. I remember I don't know. A worker who was like, why would you do this? When you make an Indian, it's always like a big roulette or, or, or are you going to actually succeed or not, I guess. I told Dan, like, hey, I've been playing Smash competitively for like four years. I've been programming in Game Maker for eight years. How about hire me? The more I played it, the more I felt like it was a game that actually cared about competitive nature. Back then, we kind of thought this was it. This was our one chance to go in person and compete on a large stage. Was that Cups? It was no longer like, I'm not in college and I'm not just like building this thing for fun in the lab. Like, like I'm going to run out of money. Eventually, right? 
Dude, I got chills. Us, we were like, this is the start of something even bigger. Back then, if you really committed to this well, anyone could be the best player. The rival's character design is actually insane. This is so sick. What you definitely say is that the Rebels Geek community is incredibly dedicated to their game. Hell yeah, we are. You're a part of just this giant family. Debrick! Oh my god, his beautiful voice! I'm gonna cry! Oh my god! Holy crap! I actually turned up a little bit because Rivals is such a beautiful ass game. Holy shit, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Holy crap, that was amazing! Wow, okay, let's go to the fine arts like I wanted Yay, to before. Oh my god, dude, that's so sick! Oh my god, a Rivals documentary? I can't even contain my excitement! Oh my god! Interviews with everybody from the old school days? I wonder if they are- no, they didn't get in touch with Spoopy. I know they didn't, but they could! You walk into what looks like a state of the oh. art gym and student rec center. Wow! Notice a lone student at an archery range. Uh, hi, is this the Abyssthrop? Apology building? Bullseye. Oh good, I thought I was lost. No, sorry, I was talking to the arrow. Hey, aren't you that guy I saw earlier? Yeah, you were protesting against corruption in the educational establishment, like bravely lying face down on the ground. Oh yeah, protesting. That's exactly <coughs> what I was doing. Say, I bet you know all the best student activist groups on campus. Do you have any suggestions? All right, Adam, make up an awesome activist group. <laughs> You're not going to see me in the documentary, dude. First of all, I would have already been interviewed, and two, I didn't. I, I, I never went to any of the tournaments, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, of course. You should check out the... It'd be hype if I could, though. Check out the what? The free? Free! It's gotta be free. Please be free. It's free. Please pick free. Not for free. It's free! Yes. Free the? Free every? Free every. every puppy free every tree make them free dude But what now? Well, that's a shame. Their cause sounds admirable enough, but I don't think that's the right group for me. You see, it sounds kind of weird, but I have this fascination with caves. And what I'm really looking for is a group that caters to both my love for archery and cave exploration. That's two so random things. That check both those boxes. Oh yeah, archery and cave exploration? That's like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, I have to get to my taxidermy class, but if you ever change your mind, you should check out this pamphlet on Spelunky. Spelunky and Rivals? Hi everyone, I'm Dan Ternacy, and I'm excited to share some new information about an upcoming game from our team. 
Dungeons Beat There is a brand new adventure, being led by Nick, aka Ampersand Bear, and Ellie. We also have Plachy Goodness's team, Rezo of course, handling the music and sound effects. The characters are being designed by Andy Ayala, with help from Mark Nelson. Finally, we have Ian Flynn doing the narrative design for the story mode in this case. Dungeons of Ether is a roguelike dungeon crawler designed by Nick. The first iteration of this combat system was created by Nick for the 7 day roguelike event in 2015. The game was called Malleus Goblin Vicarium and was one of the best received games in the competition. The <coughs> gameplay of Dungeons of Ether is an exploration based roguelike with turn based combat where both you and the enemy choose from a shared pool of dice. The dice allow you to react to the current turn and give yourself the best chance of winning. There is also a variety of equipment and consumables to give you the upper hand. Along with some gruelingly difficult, randomly generated dungeons, the game will feature a story mode. In this rogue light experience, you'll learn more about Jules Vale, the caverns below it, and the world of Ether. You'll also meet four new protagonists during the adventure. One of the characters to control is Artemis, an elite warrior within the Fire Mora. She's on a secret mission to find a long lost relic to ensure Loxodon's rise to power. Will she remain blindly loyal to the Flame Imperium, or will her quest just leave her burned? It'll be up to you to find out. You the can weasel. look forward to 2022, where you'll get to play as Fleet, Artemis, and two other protagonists who have made their way to Jewelsville. Coming in 2022. <clears throat> All right. Aerial complete what failure? Okay, let's just forget about what just happened and move on. The fine art, damn it. This is beautiful. Oh, good God. A documentary. I always said that Rivals deserves a documentary. You're on your way to Piggly Field, home of Aether University's undefeated heart smashers. <laughs> That's right. There's no rival to this Aether University. Watch out! Don't! Oh, looks like my signature flaming throw was a little too hot for you, bro. Still, though, 70 yards, not bad. Too bad Papa Renburn couldn't be here to see this. What happened? Did you also hit him in the head with a football? Oh, <laughs> no. He's just at the mall with my stupid brother who gets all the attention these days. You accidentally light one small fire at the docks and suddenly... He's the fire. A flarbly her gurger. <clears throat> Jeez, you you really are hurt, huh? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, bro. Here, let me let me go get some ice for you. Wait a minute. Was that? What's his face? You'll never guess who I met online. <laughs> it's still going. You gonna do it again? <laughs> Adam, stop it! <laughs> Why can't you stop? So I was surfing the. <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say, was that Alpharad? Is that burn? Your opponent. 
Oh my god! Hello, I'm paid actor Dan Fernaniel. Yes, I am Daniel Fernaniel. And together, we invented rollback netcode. How fast is rollback netcode? The speed at which rollback netcode uh, can transfer uh, the sort of uh, information, the data, uh, it, uh, it, it's, it's mind-boggling. The problem with delay-based netcode is that every once in a while, it gets lost. The little man that takes the internet from your computer to your opponent's computer, he gets lost. He doesn't know where to go. See, look, watch it. Faster than that. Rollback netcode is not concerned with packet loss. What's packet loss? I don't know. It's faster than that. Faster than that. Wow, that is really fast. Rollback netcode is a system that uses time travel to make sure your internet stays your internet. You don't want those government hands on your internet. How does rollback netcode work? The best part about rollback netcode is how it feels. It starts in the stomach and then rises up, up to your nose. That's the best part. The fight in the future against delay-based netcode is coming and there's nothing we can do to stop it. You know, like it, it really is coming. And I'm ready to die for it. You know, some people think rollback net code is just a way to improve the connection between you and your opponent in a fighting game, but it's much more than that. Some people are just naturally born with rollback net code in here. <laughs> Feeling better, champ? Yeah, I had the weirdest dream. Although still not as weird as everything going on right now. Wow. Wait, anyway, where are we? Oh, wow. Just a frat house of some friends <clears throat> of mine. You look around and realize you're in Fee Fi Fo Fega House's common room. You <laughs> see two nerds huddling over a TV. Dude, quit camping me out. Only when he stops spamming. Hey, it's can you keep a secret? Literally, uh, Stefan okay. twice. I hate football. Uh oh. What? I only play it because I'm so dang good at it. Heck, I basically got into this college because of a football scholarship. Also, my dad's like an important politician, and my family's really wealthy, but mostly because of the football. Despite <laughs> what my heart wants, I have to play it a lot. But my true passion lies somewhere else. Where's your true passion? Behold, mortals! It is I, Excalibur, from the seventh level of hell! Oh my gosh, he's doing the thing. I love when he does the thing. <laughs> Let us commence single combat. Yes. yes. What? Uh, uh, I mean in Rivals. Can we get Adam as a character? A new DLC character of Rivals? Adam Kara the Capybara? <clears throat> yeah, I noticed how the thing was trademarked. Why are we loading? Oh, what? Oh, crap. Uh. B. No, don't kill yourself, you idiot. Grab. Grab. G grab him. Grab him. I. Right stick up. Wait, wait, wait. We've got this all wrong. We've got this all wrong. We, have, we just have to F smash. And then, and then L. Grab L. Come on, we can win. We can win this. F smash. Okay, down smash works. Do not die. Damn it, we're dead. We really suck at this. Just F smash right away. Or, 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 Stop grabbing, damn it. There we go. Oh my god, we're comboing. Yes. 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 We're gonna get it. Now we just have to go. Yes. Yes, we got a stock, boys. We got a single stock. Can we win? See, we'll grab him. <laughs> and then L. Yes. We can just win strictly off of F smashes. Come on. We got 20 seconds here. Yes. 
Yes, we're tying. We're tying. This is totally staged. This is totally staged. This is definitely staged. Come on. Come on, damn it! <laughs> we win? No, we don't. How does that work? Rollback open beta summer 20... Roll back open beta, oh my god. GG's. It feels good to finally play somebody besides <sighs> these two. You're playing so lame right now. Well, your character is Boulder Dash. So you only play with that. Boulder I'm the Dash. captain of the football team. I can't just let anyone know that I like video games. With power of friendship, we can do this. You know, by not LARPing as Excalibur. Exactly. Everyone would just laugh at me. And then there's my dad. He would never approve. <laughs> Speak of the devil. That's my father calling right now. He's I not dead. It'd be stupid to tell him now, right? Tell the truth. Tell the truth that that you <laughs> that you are Excalibur. <clears throat> we have twelve thousand viewers right now in Rivals chat. Hello, how? Come on, your dad's not gonna hate you because of a few more extracurricular activities. Back me up here, Rano. Ha! Get dumped on! No! This matchup is impossible! <clears throat> Hi, Dad. Yeah, pizza tonight sounds great. But, um, hey, listen. There's actually something I've been wanting to tell you. Wait. What? How did you know? Everyone knows? But how? Please. What do you mean Excalibur is kind of obvious? That name is awesome! So, you're okay with it? No, Forsburn can't join us. Ugh, fine. All right, thanks, Dad. You're right. <laughs> Turns out my dad and everyone else knew all along. What do you say, my dad? I guess dad, I owe you one. And if there's anything you need, just mom, ask. Mom, Dad, Actually, I'm a gamer. Is, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about math, too, would you? <clears throat> I love math. I guess I don't really have to hide that one anymore. Did you know that 2 plus 2 actually equals 4? I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. That's awesome. Thanks, Zetterburn. <laughs> you can finally grind Rivals rank? Yes. Rivals got rollback before Smash? Of course it would. Why wouldn't it? Oh my so god. So good. Where to next? Fine Arts, bro. I wanted to go to Fine Arts from the beginning. Go to Fine Arts. God, what else can we get? What else could we possibly have in, in for rivals in the direct? What? Oh yeah, the three D stuff. Quad, the heart of Ether University. The proverbial and well, literal watering hole of the campus. All walks of life roam the quad. But mostly it's just nerds. Psst. Hey you! Me? Yeah, you! You look like a peaceful guy. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Let's go, Stefan. Y you too. Oh yeah! <laughs> just a couple of peaceful guys just hanging out. Well, we can't get 3D rounds before we get rollback. So let's fight! So let's fight! We get to fight again? Who are we this time? Maple? Oh! Oh, you were talking about this card game. Well, of course. But no need to battle with our bodies when this is the truest form of combat. A creature's update. Guy, you seem to think about combat quite a bit. A creature's Constantly. update. Everyone I meet, I size them up, you know? I wonder if I can defeat them or not. His it's name is Adam Capybara? Uh, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't be allowed to fight them, being so peaceful and all. That's awesome. Especially not after the Raster incident back in high school. Adam Kara, the Cappy Bera. Yep, just card games for me now. <laughs> uh, my counselor says it provides a creative alternative. Yeah, we need device. one, dude. We need not a... that I need one or anything. I'm really creative already. Yeah, uh huh. Let's uh, let's just focus on the game now. Oh, yeah, actually, we we might want. Oh wait, we already got voted on.
I don't even know what that ability does. It allows him to play another one? How do we how do we vote? Four? I say four. Take that one by storm. Oh no, we need s What do we need here? Yeah, we'll put it on nine. Nine. Put it on nine. It's like crackling up, which kind of sucks. Oh. So with that, we can get... Who's someone with a strong right side? Err. We could use... Yeah, we could use six. Yeah, yeah. And put it on two? Hell yizzle. Yeah, put it on top. Why not? Especially with the new fighting games like King of Fighters 15 and Guilty Gear Strive coming out, a second Rivals game would probably encourage more people to get into the game because it would be new. Not my place to talk about business, though. So. Yeah. I see what you're saying. <clears throat> but at the same time, how are they going to promote their game? Alright, so it's negative one. We need to put... Uh, we'll put like an eight. We'll do, we'll do eight. And we're going to put it on, on the one spot. It's got to go on the one spot, dude. This is hype. Also, let it be known that we have 12,415 people. Where are all these players for rivals? Why do we not have 12,000 players online? Hello? The official rivals page put seven. <laughs> ah. Ah, Clarence ability. Nice, we won. Creatures of Ether, the update. We have a ton of updates since launch. Oh, nice, wow. New abilities. Whoa, it's a chameleon. That's broken. That's kind of hype. I love the little hedgehog dude. Because he reminds me of Tommy Prickles. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. So she can, like, increase her... The stats. That's, it for now. That's pretty hype. Let's go, creatures. Creatures is pretty hype, dude. Well played. That was fun. Yeah, yeah same. Like some really good oh my god. Hey, listen. Uh, there's this club I'm in. I'm not really supposed Calcifer, to. Calcifer, thank you for the five oh, biddies. I really appreciate that. Cool right now, we're watching the direct for one of my favorite games of all time, Rivals of Ether. It's their third direct, and there's so many reveals that are happening. Agree to join or try to change the subject. Let's join. Let's join the group. We don't even know what it is, but let's join it. Thanks for dropping by. I super appreciate you. Are you streaming later today? Are you playing Dark Souls? Are you playing Draw the Viewers? Because that's adorable. <laughs> and your art's cute as hell. Yeah, sure. Sounds like fun. Awesome. There's a meeting tomorrow night. You uh, might want to trim your fur a bit before. <laughs> Rano playfully punches you in the shoulder. Jesus. Then runs off with a skip instead. What did I 
just agree to. <laughs> Oh no, we failed. Alright. Now we get to go to the fine arts as I wanted to from the very beginning. Wow, so many choices. Where should I go? How did we fail the quad? How did we fail, gamers? Zack Knight, what up, dude? Thanks for dropping by. How are you doing today, buddy? Wow, this, this is cool. Has fostered the creativity of some of Aether's greatest painters, sculptors. Whatever it is you do with acrylic, and oh my God, is that a giant ape? Uh, uh, hello. Hold on. Attempt to talk in his language, Adam. Do it. Hold on is in the direct. What does that mean? Is he actually going to be in the game? Officially? Maybe. We don't have any other characters like that in this direct, do we? That's actually huge. Eh, oh, ha, e. Or, oh, e, ow. We'll go with one. It won't let me. It won't let me chat, chat. <laughs> he goes to the easel and grabs some art supplies. He puts up a blank canvas and shoves the paintbrushes into your hands. <laughs> he starts flexing his muscles and striking poses. You want me to paint you? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell are we going to do now? Painters of Ether? The beta? <laughs> Paint.exe. What the heck? Oh no, this is going to be terrible. Let's uh let's hit let's hit S. We got to go back down. We got we got to do D. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful, guys. Z. <laughs> Let's paint, dude. Oh, it's actually turning out very well. Yeah, we broke 13,000 viewers. Let's go, boys. And then I went back down to 12.9 as soon as I said something. Captain Youngblood? I see you. I see you, Youngblood. This is actually very therapeutic. <laughs> I like this, this is cool. I saw a magic harp in chat just now. I can't believe we're getting a documentary. I can't believe we're getting rollback. The comic book. We're getting stuff about... There's got to be something about... This almost looks like a 3D like layer. <laughs> We're also getting, uh, we gotta get something about, uh, yeah, this really is workshop. The majestic white beast moves aside and points at a painting. We are amazing. Painters of ether. Yep. We added Steam Workshop support. Since then, creators have released over 1,500 characters, 1,700 stages, 
600 buddies. And now, four of the best characters are coming to Ether. Nah. -uh. Wow, officially? It's official? That's crazy, dude. That's actually insane. I, dude, I, I should have known. Hold on, so dope though. That's actually nutty. Holy crap. And he's gonna be balanced. That's the crazy thing. Palm? Dude, the fourth one's gotta be, uh, what's her face? It's not gonna be Astra. It's gotta be, uh, your girl. Um, shit, what's her name? Yes, Olympia. Because Olympia's actually kind of insane. Wow. That's crazy. Holy crap. That's actually insane. Wow. Amazing. I had a I don't feeling. I really know what down special does, but it's beautiful nonetheless. <laughs> but actually, like, Hodan's definitely one of the best, dude. He's super sick. Ask him about the classes. Don't ever say you're welcome. Yeah, let's ask him about the classes. I forgot what the other characters were. There was Astra, Palm, Olympia, and who else? Epinal? Is that who it was? I'm gonna look it up real quick. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know anything about Hyperborean philosophy? Uh-huh. I see. Dr. Zayas. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, Astro, Olympia, Palm, and Epinal. <laughs> Thanks. You too. They didn't add Ultra Instinct Fox. If we only could have gotten Svetlava done, we could have had Svetlava in the game, but that didn't happen. The alarm you definitely remember setting before goes off. It's five o'clock. You look around for Clara. You see two dear looking students ramming their antlers against each other. Nobody else is freaking out, so you guess that it's probably a normal thing here. After waiting a while, Who are the deer? you feel a calming, cool breeze. And despite everything that's happened today, you're suddenly hit with a small tingle of confidence. It's uh-oh. Why are people saying sex? What company owns the mines of Jules Vale? Nesbit Coin Badger Company, Water Trading Company, or Air Armada? Air Armada. Air Armada owns everything. <gasps> we got it wrong. Shit. Which of the films from the Sylvan Expressions movement is from the 20s? Citizen or Kane? The Wizards of Paws? Slipstream Name Desire? The Cabinet of Dr. Calamari? The Cabinet of Dr. Calamari. Not that I know, but I don't. Look at all the lore we're getting, guys. Look at all the freaking lore we got here. Which philosopher coined the phrase together strong? Dr. Zayas, Tran, Sigmund Frog, Rene Descarp? It's definitely Dr. Zayas. We're probably wrong. Busted banana syndrome? This is so fun. Before the Fire Empire was formed, what did the leadership of the Firelands look like? Various warlords complete, competed for power. There was no Firelands. The forest covered ether. Romburn and Remburn ruled each half. Everyone worshipped the Eternal Flame. It's definitely two. The forest ran rampant over the world of ether. We're wrong. Two plus two equals 69. Fish, 22 or four. Are we gonna go with... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go with four. We'll go with four. 
We gotta get it right. We can't go for the memes. <laughs> Windows said two. Windows is spamming two, dude. Let's go, Windows. <laughs> Shengon! Wow, you did great! Thanks. Yeah, today turned out actually a lot better than I expected. Yeah, this is turning out to be a pretty great first day at college for me, too. And I didn't expect to meet anybody so quickly. Really? I thought you'd be super popular. <laughs> no, I think I scared everybody off because I... Well, it's hard to explain. Um, have you ever seen the movie Back to the Future? You're a time traveler. I get it. What? How could you possibly know? Uh, it's really obvious. And it doesn't freak you out? Yeah, I'm not from here either. And the way I got here is probably a lot weirder than the way you got here. I knew it! No wonder we get along so well! Eh. We're basically kindred spirits. Just a couple of outcasts against the world. What do you say? Friends? <laughs> Grab the folder, become friends. Become friends and then become lovers. In Lovers of Ether. Adam, Capybara, and Claren. I ship that so hard. <laughs> Adam's gonna... <laughs> oh god, hey, someone sub with Twitch Prime. Let's go. Adam's gonna get rule 34 with Claren so hard. <laughs> Oh no, don't even start. Home. Got class bright and early tomorrow. I'll see you then. Yeah, you bet. Wait, what? Clarin gathers her various studying materials and skips off with a big smile on her face. What? Gotten into me. Head back to your dorm room. Go and hang. Is that a you can't control me any longer. Dang it, she's getting away. <laughs> Oh shit. Guys. Yo. Whoa. Whoa, shields. Shields. Parries. Grabs? Oh my god. Rivals of Unreal Engine. If we get these right, we will be rewarded with a sneak peek of Rivals 2, which will be made using Unreal Engine. Yeah. Wow. 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 It's like, it's still, it's super early. And you can see it, but you can see where it's like, it's coming together. And like, we're not even supposed to get that until like 2024, but it's looking like it's starting to clean up nicely. Wow. Also, 14,000 viewers. Back as soon as I said it again. I need to stop talking because every time I say something, we go back down in viewers. Are we getting Lovers of Ether 2? <laughs> Thank you.
Also, I, I know another, uh... Another emote that I need to get done. With the Pog Champ, we're gonna have... Uh, an or Orcane Pog Champ. It'll be him doing that forward tilt, where he bites really big. Wow. It's so early that it looks like a single... Like, the single footage we got looks like it was specifically made for this presentation. Probably. But, like, low-key, dude, the documentary almost made me cry, to be honest. That was actually hype as hell. Holy crap. I love that. That's sick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And we get rollback netcode, and we have a creatures update, and we get the we get the comic book next year. The creatures update happens this summer. Rollback happens this summer. Right? 3D Rivals is happening in like another two years. 2023, 2024. Justice for Rock 3. Damn, that's insane. Wait, so oh yeah, and we get all these rivals character. We get a workshop update with characters. We get Hodon, and we get Malo, and we get uh. We don't get Epinol. We get Palm, and we get uh. Uh, Olympia. Those are such good characters. Hodon, though? That's my dog. I like him the best. Like, if I can't have Astra, I'll go Hodon. 